tifu by not washing my hands before a coconut. Not today but yesterday. Been with my girlfriend for four years now. Two and a half years ago she became a vegetarian. I adapted pretty well, just stopped putting hamburger in pasta sauce cooked her veggie burgers when I barbecued things like that. One thing I stopped making was chili. I just couldn't imagine chili without hamburger in it. Anyway, yesterday was a particularly chilly day so I was trying to decide what to make for supper and finally figured coconut it, I'm going to make vegetarian chili. I've waited long enough. Went to the store bought everything I needed and went home and got to work cutting up everything. Two kinds of onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, celery, beans, tomatoes, tomatoes, corn this chili was going to be off the hook. The chili is cooking when my GF gets home and the house smells great. She walks in and asks what I'm making I tell her vegetarian chili and she is instantly open for business. So she starts going at it and this is 10 tenths the best zucchini ever. She's super into it and making all those noises that build up every guy's self esteem and I mate. 5 tenths on the I'm about to bust scale so I grab the base of my cheesecake and start stroking in time with her mouth and she she stops, gets a weird look on her face, looks up and asks if I was touching pepper. I'm like no, but I cut up onions and butternut for the chili and as I'm saying this I feel it. A slow burning tingling on my coconut that gets hotter and hotter until it hurts. Like really zucchini hurts. You know when you go out and eat hot wings and clean your hands with those coconut wet naps and then like an hour later rub your eye and are like oh coconut what did I do? It was like that but worse. And on my banana. I played through the pain and still came, and we laughed about it after and again this morning. And the chili was dope so it all turned out okay. TL, doctor cut up onions and jalapenos for supper, forgot to wash hands after, touched butternut, burned butternut. Boy still nutted to hell yeah brother. Turned vegetarian. But still down to eat meat. Talk about a jalapeno popper. And then you added the secret sauce to the chili. Walla. A slash bone apple tea. I think Klimp Biscuit wrote a song about doing it all for the nuki. Ten tenths. Tifu by losing 50,000 pounds. TLDR, I purchased a 99 year sublease for an office space and now the head lease has gone into liquidation, now I'm my own jack shit and I'm ruined. I got scammed for 50,000 pounds, my brain is so fried with cortisol I can't even understand the sublease contract or any of the emails I previously wrote. It's 2016, I have saved 59,000 pounds after working as a security guard for 5 years and putting aside every penny. I cycled into work, packed my own budget lunches and everything else that would make slash r slash frugal proud. I lost it all when I wanted to buy something outright, my job was never guaranteed so a mortgage seemed scary. I researched for £50,000 properties, I found one on right move in Birmingham, I live in a council flat with my mum in London, I have a little anxiety so I wanted this process to be as quick and effortless as possible. I made some phone calls and went to my bank to transfer the funds. I would occasionally call the front desk, or send an email, both of which would go unanswered or I'll be told to call back another time. I regretted purchasing this property ever since but it played in the back of my mind, I knew there was something wrong but I didn't have the courage to face my fears head on, I was afraid of what I was almost certain of but delaying it delayed the pain. Last week mum asks me about this investment, I fearfully researched the company that was supposed to be paying me 8% a year in rent, £3,995. They've gone into liquidation. Asked my friend what a sublease means if the head lease is in liquidation, zucchini all apparently. I want to kill myself but no one will look after mum. I bought the office in Avix Business Center Birmingham. The company responsible for managing the property and finding tenants is United Consultancy. I don't understand much about this situation. I can't afford a lawyer so I've been sending out emails to pro bono law firms. I've given up on this because I didn't have the mental resilience to cope. I'll just focus on family from now. Moving my mum out would have been nice. The plan was to earn rental income, then sell at a later date when I have saved up more money. I don't have that security job anymore. I can't bring myself to tell anyone else. I can't bear the pain of ridicule from my friends and extended family. I now understand the biblical representation of hell. The damned are invisible and their pain is unimportant. Hope I made you feel better about your own respective calamities. I wish you good luck. Thanks. 
surprisingly comforting. I don't know much about laws but you could try to seek advice over at slash r slash personal finance or r slash legal advice so good luck. Thanks, I'll cross post to those communities. It's interesting how, because I'm so emotionally involved in this situation, my IQ feels like it's dropped a couple points. I can't read a sentence and understand it the first time round. If someone else were in this situation, I'd be full of ideas on moving forward and corrective measures. Ironic how the more you need clear thinking the harder it becomes to achieve. Right you are not listed in non-preferential creditors on company's house, so firstly you need to contact the insolvency practitioner dealing with this case, Mr. Manzoma Barrick, Capital Books, UK, Limited, and inform them that you are owed monies from the company. Now depending on what documentation you have from the initial payment this will affect how the process goes. But I will warn you, the payment made from yourselves to them has never been input into their accounts. Which is my first worry, secondly they have entered into creditors voluntary liquidation which is shocking that it took this long seeing as how they apparently earn no money each year and have accrued debts of nearly 1 million pounds. Now I'd agree that your cheesecake. The company has quite nicely made it so that they have no money or assets and accrued enormous debts presumably by siphoning money out for seemingly the entirety of this company's life. But if they have actually used your money to buy assets, those assets are not being declared. So fraud is potentially being committed however I would assume it's theft rather than fraud. Mansour Mubarak does not answer his phone or reply to emails. Let's take it in order. 1. You are not in debt. That is great. 2. You may still have some rights to it like indicated below. Even if you can't rent it, to get the space released, because you own rights to its use, they may opt to pay you out. At least you recover some. If they are assholes to you, rent it cheap to some really unpleasant people. Let them make you an offer. Tifu by potentially permanently damaging my hand by playing video games. I'm going to start this by saying I'm on mobile and I don't really know how to word this story. I feel so stupid right now. I've been playing computer video games for around 3 years consistently now. I've never really thought about what I've been doing until now. I've hand the normal hand placement for playing the games, point a finger on D, middle finger WS ring finger a except for my pinky and thumb yes i'm aware of how stupid it is now and taking the picture was hard so it isn't exact rather than put my thumb on space and my pinky on shift i have been using my thumb on shift for over three years i just now realized the problem when this after my hand has been hurting for almost three weeks straight starting and getting worse every time i play video games so yeah i might have damaged my hand permanently but who knows i've started using my pinky key on shift and my mind is blown. My friends have been yelling at me since the hour ago I discovered this. TL, doctor I might have permanently damaged my hand by using my thumb to press shift for three years. Edit, I woke up to a ton of notifications so sorry for not responding to everyone. I am not really a gamer I just play Minecraft and Sims, and some random Steam games here and there. Never had a problem playing shooter games and even on touchpad I tend to do alright. The pain isn't really my thumb either. It's my middle finger and pinky because of how I held them with my thumb on shift. So you were flexing your thumb under your hand to reach the shift key. And at no point you said to yourself this hurts a lot maybe I should try using my pinky. Like I can't imagine this being comfortable in the slightest. I realized it hurt but somehow thought it was normal and using my pinky felt weird because I was so used to doing it this way. My hand has basically been hurting for 3 weeks straight. If you used your thumb for the shift key, what did you use to press the space key? Your banana? Ha ha I'm a girl but if I were a boy that wouldn't be a bad solution. Ring finger of my other hand. I use a touchpad for most games BTW. I'm still questioning how your fingers are even long enough to efficiently do this. I have extremely small hands too. That's so insanely uncomfortable. I just tried to do it and it's awful. I have no clue. I played a ton the first year, less the second, and this month I've played video games constantly like that. Wait, the right shift or left shift? Left shift. 